Hello everyone. Welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Let's jump right in. Uh, and I can show everyone what we got up to last time. Uh, last time we had our uh, clock tower and we were transforming it or, or adding onto it to transform it into an actual sort of a, a usable building structure. Uh, and we created what is effectively the administrative hub, if you like, for our park. Oh, we have daylight control, that's always nice. This uh, deliberately quite town hall-esque building here. Um, this is going to form, these three buildings over here will form uh, three or one sort of quarter side of our, what's eventually going to be sort of a plaza type area. Uh, the plan is to have a restaurant building that comes along here and forms most of the other side. And then this uh, central area will be sort of open, walkable, traversable terrain. Um, I am tempted to actually move. So this building won't be staying with this design. Uh, this building is a bit of a, a placeholder at the moment. I'm just sort of tempted to see how, how far over... whoops. Ah, yes, yeah, so we do have a little bit of a problem in that uh, our town hall building is for some unknown reason connected to this, but it's probably fine. Um, let's grab all of those and merge you in. So I'm wondering how far over can I sort of slide you and still be a, a reasonable-ish place to put you. I could probably get you up to there quite reasonably. Does that look like that? No, it needs to come out a little bit further away. But I could do that if I wanted to. To kind of tighten this whole area up a little bit. So at the moment it's quite spacious and empty. Which we don't necessarily want. I think that's good. Let's come here. Go on another bit of the bridge section. Uh, and then we are going to take all those to this, unfortunately. It's for the greater good. I'm gonna put you there, and uh, this this bit of vegetation. Oh, huh! That's a, a very odd bit of vegetation. So, what else? Where's the other bit of vegetation that you're attached to? Oh, you're attached to a little bit that's down there. I see. Okay. Um, let's split this bit off and just put you over here for now. Okay, dokie. So we've tightened up this plaza and th there's, there's two main things I want to get done today. Um, and the first one is I want to have like the general layout for the plaza ready. Um, one sec while I go and feed the protoceratops. Here's a little protoceratops. That's Och. Say hi, Och. He's having a nibble. The first is that I want to get the general layout for the plaza down. Uh, there's still going to be placeholder buildings uh, while we work on getting our own bespoke uh, restaurant and clothes shop. I feel like there'll, there'll be space for another building. I feel like 
restaurant coming along here will take up the equivalent of these two. But uh, there might be space for another building here. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, so I want to get the plaza layout down. And I want to get started on the uh, actual lake. Is the plan. Because uh, sort of the, 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 the general idea for the layout of this is, well, we're right up next to some beautiful lakes. I sort of headcanon that this park is placed... Uh, you know, lake district sort of area. I wanted it to be Scotland, but I don't think the hills are necessarily mountainous enough for that. Um, but you know, somewhere in Britain that has these wonderful lakes, and I wanted to have a, a large lake as sort of a central feature to the park. I don't think we're going to be using all of this space for the park somehow. Um, <laughs> considering this is what we've got so far. <laughs> That's all the space we have. Hang on. How long does it take us to get from one side to the other? Stop the clock at... ooh... Uh, one... now. I'm using the, uh, the, the live uptime counter on OBS. Right, it takes nine seconds to cross the park. Uh, uh, might take slightly longer to get back for some reason. Nine seconds across the park, of which the bit that I've developed is currently the first second, maybe second and a half. <laughs> uh, so we are less than one, we are about one ninth the way across the park. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Uh, we're in instantly, we're one ninth the way across the park. We already have one hundred forty-six million in the bank, and we're making a profit of a scary amount. <laughs> a truly terrifying amount. Uh, of which, almost nothing is our entry fee, and everything else is donations, which I guess is kind of nice, question mark? Oh. We're making money off entertainment. I don't even know what- I don't even know how. I didn't think we had entertainment modules. Bathroom, nutrition, shopping, nutrition. We don't. <laughs> we don't have entertainment, but we're making money off of it. Oh, unless binoculars are entertainment, I guess, maybe? Oh, look, here's guest objects. Oh. I always wondered where they were. Oh, there's some cool, like, um, complete benches and tables. That's dead handy. That's dead ugly. That's so ugly! <laughs> um... Anyway... My A key is a little bit sticky as well, so uh, bear that in mind. Uh, because we've been moving this around, uh, I will have to repaint underneath it. This happens quite a lot. Full whack. The game does not necessarily like me painting such a large area. It must be said. Alright, so we'll get rid of the path. We need to paint rock. Under here, so the grass doesn't stick through. Yeah, the game gets a little bit upset when you paint or change the terrain at all, really, if I'm honest. Uh, so, this is the little reception area in here. This building serves two functions. It, it, it's uh, in universe function uh, is principally is like an administrative center. So this is the front desk, if you will. Um, but then also for the actual park itself, you've got this tower and lift here, which is the accessible route up to the top of the hill if you can't go up the actual slope. Um, Let's 
Because you gotta, you got to think about these things. Even if you're a scrub like me, who's not sort of used to having to think about these things, you gotta. I should put a door back here. I should put two doors back here. I've not actually been to this bit of the, the build before. Oh yeah, I know your feeders are running low. Your feeders are always running low. You'll have to wait a bit. Um. One's all there. Whoopsies. One's all there. And then I think. Oh, oh gosh, that's. Okay, no, we can't have a door there, that's too low. Um. Zero. This is our Drysaurus habitat. Uh, we have many of them. They are my favourite dinosaur in the game so far. This is Amelia. Say hi, Amelia. A Drysaurus. Say hi, Nigel. Quite elegant, don't you think? They're especially cute as babies when they have big eyes and stubby noses, just like a puppy. Just like a puppy. There is nothing more puppy-like than this sort of chicken squatting thing. I've not actually seen them squat like that before, I don't think. It's Dave Constantine. Hi there, Dave. How are you doing? Wow? Ooh, what's the big wow? I thought how angle stuff. There's a different angle snap for parts. Oh, thank you. Uh, I try my best, um, as you know. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this path out here. So this is the, the middle line for what's going to be our plaza. And my sort of, my rough idea, let's see if I can like map, mark this out with, with paint. Um, so my sort of rough idea is we, we have the, the arc of buildings This is, that is terrible. Can I undo that? I can undo that. That's at max intensity as well. Um, the arc of buildings that we, we've got here. Coming around in sort of a semicircle. And then, uh, in colour. The path will go sort of in, in front of them. So like that, and then like that. And may also kind of come up the middle, but then the area in between. So I might have sort of rings of path. Like this. And then the area in between will be um, paved with these blocks of, of stone. Uh, and then this area in the middle will be a, a seating area, principally. While well, they're in the cages, uh, in the cages we have our third and fourth dinosaurs. Let's see if I can zoom in, get you a bad look. Get you a better look. There we go. My character little fella is one of my personal favourites. The Microraptor. That beautiful iridescent colour of its feathers isn't actually pigment. It's a structural colour, which means that the structure of the feather itself reflects light in such a way that it's perceived as a colour. Hummingbirds do the same thing today. I love Microraptor. Um, I love Microraptor in part for its... Oh my goodness, I hope you can't hear that. Yeah, you can definitely hear that. Oh my gosh. Someone's using a saw outside. 
Uh, which means I have to go and shut my window, so please... Ow. Please do bear with me. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. <clears throat> Streamer dies live on air. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> um, hi, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> does anyone know what I was talking about? Probably something about Paleo Color. I like Paleo Color. Microraptor was one of the first Paleo Colors. Um, layout for the, for the, the thing. So I want a circular seating area here, and then this will be a full circle, but these will only be sort of semicircles, and then I'll have path coming off, oh that's a different colour to my other path, path coming off here to the rest of the park, and here to the rest of the park, and th this sort so this path will sort of serve most of the, uh, the Romanesque area that's going to be over here. And then I might put a sort of a gate at the boundary to the park somewhere over here. I need a different colour for the gate. Hang on. So the yeah, gate might be somewhere over here, let's say. Uh, and then the water. Let's find a colour for the water. The, the water of the lake will go here, but then this circular section will sort of jut out into the water a bit. So the, the, the path will run alongside the edge of the water for a little bit, and then the water will, will kind of come in to make a sort of a natural looking lake structure, uh, while the path carries on being straight. And then I need another another colour, and then there'll be sort of enclosure space here and here. I'm not an artist, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, <laughs> but that's the, that's the sort of the rough plan for this plaza area. Wow. That's, that's, a, that's a total disaster that I've just drawn all over my map. But it's fine, it's fine. Um, what I do probably want to do is edit this group. And actually, I don't think I need these. Uh, Let's so let's start with the path. So an asphalt path coming off of here. Uh, okay. I'll do paths apparently. Right, so there's a bit of path number one. Path number two. Now we want to make that symmetrical. Symmetrical is not a strong point of mine, it must be said. I wonder if maybe the sensible thing to do isn't to try drawing it, but is instead to make a thing as like a guide. If I if I grab some modular pieces, if I grab a, a floor round outside and just make it huge. How huge?
that might be a little too huge. I can just use this guidance. Now I don't need to worry about my inability to draw a good line. So I'm not one drawing it. There we go. Excuse me. Uh, you just kind of sit up here for a second. Uh, you have a path connection. Yeah, there we go. You, you realize you've got a path connection. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Okie doke. I actually didn't know this, so I need to do it like that. I should just delete and delete. Uh -huh. Turn off this grid, we don't want that. Mm, that's too big, isn't it? Yeah, that's too big. That's about the right size. Not done that very well, have I? There we go, marvellous. Okay, so that's the basic layout there. Um, I can probably split down. This is a big area. This is a very large area. Hmm. This is a larger area than I sort of intended for. I wonder if it might be better to have a an enclosure or a building here at some point. Hmm. Oh, I've just realised this building building's now <laughs> clipping into the um, Protoceratops enclosure. I'm sure they won't like that. Because this area is actually huge, isn't it? Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay, as an alternative. I could put sort of a a, a good sized restauranty type bit here with uh, like lakeside seating comes out here. But what other buildings will I put around the side? I've been considering because I, I want to have a my own nursery building. And I was considering making that sort of a Roman esque thing, but I'm going to need something along here. Hmm. It's a tricky one. I think I can also something that's not controversial. I'll make the, the stone path thing look nicer in a, in a bit when I when I actually do all of the paths buildings. Because this is a huge space that I've made for myself. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just not tremendously happy at the moment. And there's not an easy way of shrinking it. Because the, the space here is defined by this bit of hill that I made. all up this, haven't I? Oh, well on the plus side it was the wrong kind of grass. So that makes everything better. It doesn't, it doesn't make anything better. I've, I've, oh what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a complete and other mess. Right. Now let's go and just fix everything that I just did. Ah, oh, hey ye, how you doing? We have four people watching, that's nice. I'm making problems and messes for myself, because I'm a fool. And I got two more followers, did I? That's interesting, because that hasn't popped up. I suppose maybe it happened off stream. Um. Well, my last follower that, that, that Twitch tells me about was a, a few days ago. Oh, what's happened to the stream? Uh, bear with me a second, my stream seems to have disappeared. There we go, we're back. Don't know what happened there. Um, Right, where were we? Oh, I was painting rock. Well, I 
think we might have escaped the last of it, actually. Nope, that's more grass. That's the opposite of what I want. <sighs> this is definitely, this is easily big enough for an enclosure. But I don't know what I'd put there. Uh, why is... Protoceratops. Gantulga, do we need to have words? What are you doing here? How did you get here? <laughs> Go sleep in your in your actual enclosure. I, I is it because of this? Are you getting out somewhere because this thing's there? I need to know. Uh, dare I ask what the hell you've just put in my chat, ye? Apart from the ritual to summon some sort of eldritch abomination. Napin. Napin is also lost somewhere. Napin. Where are you? You're miles and miles away. How did you get over here? I don't understand. <laughs> Um, okay. All other dinosaurs are currently safe and contained? Good, good. It was a bear with a welcome sign. Um... Uh, oh, well, we don't have to worry about the plaza today. Um, all we have to worry about today is... So I, I want to have this bit be uh, a road. That's easy. Hang on. Why is that doing that? I don't like that that's doing that, and I wish it would stop. It's very odd, is what it is, I think, first and foremost. Oh, I didn't need to delete that, but that's okay. Let's swap this bit out for... Wow, the layering of paths is annoying. I guess it layers oldest first? Wait, 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 what? Okay, it just has a hole there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Certainly a system for doing it. Uh... Right. Enjoy your ASCII art, I guess, ye. Um... <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt to interpret the strange and, and slightly disturbing Cthulian images that are appearing on my screen when I look at chat. Uh... Oh, that's not the right rock. I wonder what the right rock is. That's that one. Okay, so we can do sort of something like that. Uh, 
then we can fit our enclosure in here. Okay, good. Uh, the next important step is terrain leveling. So I want to grab this terrain height and flatten out lots and lots and lots of space. Oh, I'm gonna need to stock up on food again, aren't I? Let's refill your feeders. Go to the management view. Whichever view it is. Plants. Oh wow, I need lots of plants. I can only order 10 at a time for reasons. I have very little way of being able to tell which areas have and haven't been leveled. But I figure if I just sort of hold this button down for ages and ages and ages. Oh, okay, so this bit all has been leveled. Oh, 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 it didn't like that. Oh. I may have crashed the game. No? No? Okay, we're alright. We're alive. I forgot that they didn't like me doing that. <laughs> uh, okay, having done that, we can now... What do I want? Calm water, rough water, muddy water. Right, now this is a... Hmm. Let's say it's probably a lot that's sort of going this way-ish. So we want the rough shape to be uh, elongated like that kind of a deal. And we'll bring the size in. To bring the depth in. As well. Where are you going? Oh, I've got time it turned up for some reason. Hello! You enjoying this path that goes nowhere, are you? Good, that's what we like to see. What I'm noticing is, you can kind of see the bottom, uh, which leads to the slightly unfortunate sort of scenario. Where you can tell that, that the water's at different depths. I mean, admittedly, you can only see that if you have the sort of bird's eye view that I have. But I do have the sort of bird's eye view that I have, on account of me having it. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go with this for now. So this is our, our, our lake outline for now.
Oh, that's a disaster. Well, that kind of smudges the outline a bit. It's probably okay. Right, anyway, uh, there's our lake. We probably shouldn't have lots of trees in the lake, as most lakes don't. The overall shape of the lake is not final and can be tweaked. What's this? Oh, that's weird. The bit of the tree that's underwater is invisible. Oh no, there's loads more tree underwater. Oh no. Oh, this is a disaster. Um. I might have to go over the whole lake with the defoliage brush. Um, trees, trees, go away. We don't want you, not today. Oop. Yeah, so this is what underwater looks like, if anyone's interested. Um, it's exactly the same as above the water, except there's a, a thin millimetre thick layer of wibbliness above your head. Uh, if you ever go swimming, this is what you'll see. Especially if you go swimming in a Scottish lock. This is exactly what all Scottish locks look like. <laughs> it's not. Okay, I can't stress that enough. It's not. I'm definitely going to have to go over this with a defoliator brush, aren't I? Bother, 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 bother. Uh, tree removal. Look, right, there shouldn't be any more trees underwater now. Uh, I should also change what the bottom looks like. I should paint it. Temperate substrate? How does that look? Hmm. Scotland, wetland, sand, or mud. Oh, blimey, that was an interesting camera thing. Let's go with mud. Oh, blimey. The game is not super happy with me painting this much terrain at once. It would be real helpful, actually, if I could tell what that was. Oh, pebbles. Well, pebbles is a good texture, actually. Having just painted it all in mud, I might paint it in this instead.
there we go. Uh, we all need to do the banks, but that's fine. Uh, we can do the banks as we go along, probably. Uh, right now, what we want is to know everything there is to know about the Zootoceratops. Now, I've done some research off-stream. Uh, the Zootoceratops, apart from being... Where's the Zootoceratops? Here he is. Apart from being the ugliest Ceratopsian to ever walk the Earth, uh, the Zootoceratops is known from one formation, uh, Kaparowitz. Kaparowitz was a... Some sources have described it as, as jungle bordering the sea, but I, I've seen various descriptions that sort of describe it as being uh, heavily uh, covered in, in river channels, etc. Possibly swampy. Um, so what I'm thinking is it might be a it might be more sort of a, a mangrove type jungle in the modern equivalent than uh, sort of like the Amazon type jungle. Uh, I don't know if mangrove trees date back to the period, and I think it's probably quite immaterial because we're not using period fauna; we're using uh, flora. We're using modern flora. Um. There are, I noticed, three skins. So, shall we go into our research menu, which has sat here for quite a while. Let's go to excavations. Shall we go and grab some other Nazutoceratops skins? We can get wild berry Nazutoceratops. Ooh, that's kind of interesting, actually. And we can also get green Nazutoceratops. But let's grab those. And you like wetland flora or whatever that one is. Hang on. Nope. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a disturbing button to have. Um Vegetation. You tropical. Wetland or tropical? Oh uh, well, we're definitely gonna go with wetland for this. Um, oh, don't want to paint just yet. Oh, actually, we do want to paint some tree removal over here. Uh, okie doke. So, next question. Oh, it actually tells you if you know so what they're called. You like. 40 to 75% forest, that's what we expected. Quite a lot of water as well, which is pretty good. You can't have too much exhibit crowding. 30%. Uh, you need a minimum size of 5,000 meters squared. To put that in context, this Protoceratops exhibit here. You have a size that I can look at? So this one here is not quite your minimum size. This one here, this is 7,000, so this is a bit more than your minimum size, but I'm guessing you might need bigger than that if we want to put more than a few Mizutoceratops in you. Now, I don't know a lot about designing zoos. Do we want to put our three different skins of Mizutoceratops in together with each other? Because I feel like, as Ceratopsians, they're probably herding animals. Um, where's my where's my page? This is Ceratops. They're herding animals in Jurassic World Evolution, which I know is not the best marker, obviously. Um, Hi there, you. Welcome back. We're just discussing Mizutoceratops ecology. Um, I'm considering just doing a, a plain, straight up Google. Was Mizutoceratops herding? No, it doesn't. Doesn't. Uh, Dinosaurfactsforkids.com. <laughs> the most trustworthy web address, if ever I've seen one, says uh, Nazutoceratops was likely to live and move in herds. I also don't really know what a herd would have been. 
um, for a, an animal like this. Hang on, I'm gonna find you a. I'm gonna find you a boy to look at. Here's Charlie. Hello, Charlie. They originally inhabited forested areas of the late Jurassic, with their name literally translating to tree lizard. I wonder if they bark. Um, I'm googling herd size. Did tre so so Cora? Someone asked. Triceratops live in herds. If so, how many? Um, Triceratops is usually found alone, but the bone bed is found consisting of five individuals. Oh, were you in the background? Uh, I missed you, unfortunately, because I was <laughs> busy looking things up. Okay, so maybe small herds might be the appropriate size. Because when I've seen Ceratopsians in um, fiction, they tend to be in quite large herd sizes of sort of you know, a couple dozen individuals. But uh, a group of five Nazutoceratops, which will probably have, I'm guessing, a, a, a dominant male and then a group of four females. Seems fairly reasonable to have more than one of those in one enclosure, if I wanted to. But then having, you know, having multiple different skins of them means I can sort of dot them around if I want to. Ah! Decisions. Why has anyone ever asked me to make a decision? It's not fair. Um. Oh, what's their fencing requirements as well? That's quite important. Strength 2, 1 meter. What fences do we have? So you are strength one, one meter. Your strength nothing, one meter. Your strength two, two point five meters. So we'd probably be going for modern fence metal. Oh my goodness, the feeders! Always the feeders. Refill them. We need more plants as well. Okay. Um, let's actually, if I start off with, uh, because there's prefabs for, for animal housing, right? So I could start off by putting this down. I've got a pot there. Figure out what you actually sort of mean. So you're, uh, what do you look like inside? I'm very confused by this actually. <laughs> what is this mess inside of this prefab? It's like, here's some straw floating a couple inches off the ground. There's a feeder. There's this random patch of dirt in the middle of concrete. And no obvious way for the animals to actually get in. Like, there's a big old garage door here, but that leads to the human part of the, the shelter. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who designed this? <laughs> Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> That's a disaster. This is a total disaster. Um, okay, what other animal house? We have animal house backstage large. Is this large as in for large animals, I'm guessing? You reckon a Brachiosaurus could fit in there? Maybe. 
Does it have a more sensible design though? It needs power for something. That's no, probably for light, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's for light. That's okay. Don't care about that. Oh my god. Feed you. And there's two things that need power. Which are, are both here. So this one, you've got a big door area. Some uh, chain link around the, the windows, which is fine. And then there's this gate, which allows people access into the human bit. See, that's a sensible layout for a thing. How, how tall is this? Right, if I pause time for a sec. Are we talking? That's like an that's like a, an elephant height, really, isn't it? So that is for a big old animal. Okay. Oh, oh no! This is for a, oh my god! That's for a sauropod. Never mind. Blimey. We also got animal shelter tent. So that's not really like a backstage thing. That's just something to have in an enclosure. But dome, large, large animal stables. Zootoceratops live in a stable? Hmm. Don't know. Hello. You enjoying your tour of absolutely nothing? I assume there's a good reason for why the AI moves around the way it does. Like, here's a restaurant, uh huh, for people to come eat food. Completely barren. Not a single person here. Those two people just took a look at the restaurant and were like, no thanks, I'm not hungry actually. But, you give someone an a, a empty path with nothing at the end of it? Oh, they love that. Wow. Um, I make myself feel better by putting pebbles around the edges of this bit here. Um, Right, anyway, uh, so, uh, I don't care, I'm feeling don't care about, this is enrichment stuff, that's fine, that's for later. I wonder what, I wonder what you put a deer in, if you have a deer in a zoo. Let's find, a uh, Amelia quickly to keep you guys entertained. Um, Well, they really don't have much. Juvenile specimens of these dinosaurs have been found in the fossil record, so I'm eager to see how much larger this one will get. Like sometimes they just sort of have like a bit of a canvas propped against the wall. Um, they really don't seem to have very much going on. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. Qu I'm qu zipping through a speed build from someone playing Planet Zoo of their deer shelter. Um, it really is. They've just sort of made kind of an empty house, basically. Okay. Well, we can do a, a, a something like that. We will. Shall I start with the Animal House backstage as a, as a base? It's probably a fairly good base, actually. Um, I can sort of plop it down, let's say here. Uh, I can jiggle the terrain a little bit around it. 
Not so much size water, no water. Oh, that, that was not what I wanted to do. Ah, I see. Even when I say no water, the terrain still needs to be re-leveled afterwards. I see. Uh, of course, why wouldn't it? That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so you actually can't get the water super close to the building before it, uh... deal with that. Can I hit undo and have it not be terrible? Hmm, that's interesting. And terrible. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stick with it like that for now. Uh, we'll paint it back up with Grass. Yeah, that's above water. Yep. Oh heck. Oh wow, the game is very unhappy with me making all these terrain modifications. Blimey. Wait. You're attached to something else. Oh well, maybe you're not. Okay. That bit of clover can sit there. It won't stay there, but they can sit there for now. Right, okay. So, first things first. This doorway needs to go. Does it need to go or does it need to go elsewhere? Uh, I think it just needs to go. Next, I want this door. Over here. Let's put it on this bit here. Check. Okay. Right. Uh, Oh, I see. They've, they've given it a matching inside door. Let's actually delete that and just cheat a little bit. Bring it through. Marvelous. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit glitchy. In a way that I don't particularly appreciate. Does that stick through if I do that? It doesn't. Fantastic. Um, okay, now I want to take this. Uh, hang on, I actually want to paint. Don't I? I want to paint some rock under here so that you aren't. Stick 
from grass to any floor. Oh, 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 can't see. Got lost. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we don't want this fever here. Uh, we don't want this random bit of dirt here. I don't know why they put a random bit of dirt there, but we don't want it. So these things can kind of stay where they are. These bits, however, I want you to run along this bit. So, as you were, but along here instead. Just you. I want another one off. There. And then this. Maybe there. And uh, the bit here that's. Do you all need to come down, or is it like. Just you? It's just you, really, I think, that needs to come down. That's actually a lot more long. Clip. Yeah. yeah, we'll put you there. Okay. And my my cunning plan is I want to have a big. Um, so like in the the slightly larger uh, Sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me while I lose all brain capacity. Like in the slightly larger uh, shelter where they have uh, a much kind of chunkier gate and fence that separates the keep a bit from the... Were you in the wheelbarrow? Uh, from the animals. I guess you must have been. There we go. Oh, they didn't, uh, I changed, turned this bit around, haven't I? I need to turn you around? Question mark? Sure, it's just sort of sitting on the wheelbarrow. I don't know what it was supposed to be doing, but it's now just sitting on the wheelbarrow. Um, yeah, I want to have a much sturdier fence along this bit. Uh, let's actually, let's drop down the save, because we have been upsetting the game a lot with terrain manipulation stuff, so it's probably good to have additional saves. Let's get that bigger animal shelter. Where is this one, was that? Yes, okay. Hi there. Oh, you've got a little, like, trough here, which is quite neat. Hmm, how much taller is that one than this one, do we reckon? If I quickly duplicate you...
We might get away with it. Uh, edit group. That. Oh my gosh, is this individually handmade bars? Pfft, wow, okay. Why well, you gotta, gotta make it so difficult for me to steal from you? And that's one bit. Down the sides are one bit each. Is that just a hole at the bottom? There's also that bit. Okay. Uh, let's say split from group and duplicate you. Let's bring you in here and see how well you match up. Uh, I do need to turn this up on. Let's look at it from this side if we can. No, it needs to be I need to be able to see the vents on the floor. sort of trough thing and zip it over so here so it's over the vent and in the corner how is that looking that married ma ma that marries up with the ceiling moderately well um there should be a bit that goes like all the way along is it you? Look, <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Here somewhere. There, that's the bit. Oh, ah, uh, can't see again. If I just bring that down, just so you can actually see it, that's probably an aesthetic improvement. Uh, group this is going to need to move over here a bit. That's fine. On the one hand, I'm concerned this might be overdoing it. On the other hand, I feel like a charging ceratopsin is a pretty sturdy thing. So it's probably not a bad idea to have robust protection. Uh, then I want to take you and grab just this bit. Just this bit. Split from group. Duplicate. Triangle snaps on. Ah, oh, be unable to see again. Right. Let's 
kind of the base adjustment for you. You are currently have a sticking through a bit. If I can oops, uh 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 can I actually see? I would like to be able to see both the thing I'm moving and the bits to move it at the same time, please. I understand that's an ask. However, I am asking it. Okay, so that's you. Can I move you back? Still sticking through. I have to shrink you slightly. That's a little bit annoying, but it's not really the world. Does that stick through? No, it does stick through. Okay, never mind. Okay, fantastic. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. The only other question is do I want the door on that bit or on this bit. I think it's probably fine to have it on that bit. Okay, so we're going to have this as our shed. We don't need you anymore. Uh, oh, bye, thank you. I do need to grab this and this and this and the whole building and merge you all together into one group. There we go. And make sure you're not okay, you're not attached to anything else. Um like last time. Shudder. I don't think I need to paint this. Like it's a work building, no. Everyone knows it's a work building. Okay. Now that we've got that settled, I need to Definitely going to there. Oh, where's the corner here? There's the corner. Um, okay, so that's the interior marked out. Now in terms of habitat, like the outside, I can do a fairly straightforward One of the things that Jurassic World Evolution lets you do, that this game doesn't let you do, is put fences through water. Um, although actually, that is letting me put fence through water right there. Uh, but it's not supposed to let you put fences through water. It tries its best to not let you put fences through water.
And for what it's worth, it's probably actually a fairly good idea to keep um, the the kind of the water sources for all the different species separate a bit. If you have them all drinking from one water source, then uh, any infection that hits the park will just sort of spread like wildfire through the drinking water. So I'm sort of feeling more like that. That makes a whole enclosure, doesn't it? So what's the area there? Five thousand meters squared. So that is a that is a minimum size Nazutoceratops enclosure. Um. <laughs> Now, I wouldn't mind actually having a bit of a bigger enclosure than that. And I'll tell you what else, I'm not sure, I probably wouldn't mind having this part actually kind of curve a little bit. So I do that up to there so it reaches the door. But I could curve it a little bit. Do something like that. Now we're gonna have. Well, we've obviously we've got the hill here, and we want to have the, the edge of the hill look fairly natural. But it's gonna be partially decorated, and, and over here there's gonna be another enclosure for sure. Let's actually mark that out. Over here, there's going to be another enclosure. Uh, where are we? That one. We filled protoceratops. So I could, if I wanted, fairly easily. I could even fill out this whole thing, to be honest. I want it to. Where do you put this up? How big is that? That's now 11,000. Well, that's a lot bigger than they need. That's probably too big. Um, but I could have it be that big if I wanted to. Um, If I had it like that, what I might end up having is a, a second house. Because this could be a this could be a three herb Mizutoceratops enclosure, I reckon. Um with this size. I wish I knew how to predict in advance how many dinosaurs was going to give you a certain amount of cra exhibit crowding. Um, that would be good. Hmm. <laughs> So 
So I don't really want to give too much extra space over to them. Cause like this is a this is a stonkingly huge enclosure again. Like that's big. And I can't know in advance without having made them. Shall I just make them? I can just do what I did with the others, which is just sort of have a, a real generic space. Like, up. Oh, snap. What's the size of this enclosure? It's not joined up somewhere. That's the size of this enclosure. It's not joined up here. Of course not. That's 18k. Cut off a bit here. That's 14k. Cut off a bit more. How big is that? That's not happy, is what it is. That's so that's about the same size as this. So this is eleven two hundred, this is ten nine hundred. So that's basically the same size. Um if I add more road on the end of here. So that there's some like basic visibility. It's not going to stay. It's just a uh, bop, bop, bop. Right. Now people can sort of see most of it if they want to. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's breed up some Azutoceratops. Open the nursery menu. Zootoceratops. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab the berry cup. Well, we had these first. Let's grab one male of you. Create one male. And then... Wow, you are even less pretty. One, two, three, four of you. And then we'll see how much crowding an exhibit side of 11,000 is. We have a first time chat from Wolfraps94. Hello there, Wolfraps. How are you doing? Right, just waiting for these to all cook. Um, the male of this ceratops is appropriately called Mano. <laughs> right, okay. Select all. Release five animals. One, two, three, four, five. I know you don't currently have any water, that's fine. I just wow. want to know about... Look at the horns on that one. This must be Nasuta ceratops. A ceratopsian best identified by its large cow-like features. Uh, like a rhino or, well, a cow, yeah, right, Nigel. All right. A in keratin, the same material that makes up scales, feathers, fingernails, and even hair. 
Yes, thank you, Nigel. Uh, Wolfrap says, I'm good, thanks. I'm interested in this game. Could you explain more? Um, yeah, it's a, so it's a, a park builder. The object of the game is that you, you make a zoo. Uh, and the unique selling point is that you're making a zoo featuring uh, principally dinosaurs. There's also a few uh, other extinct species like mammoths and stuff. But uh, mostly it's you're making a dinosaur zoo. And it's set apart from something like, let's say, Jurassic World Evolution, which is also a, a dinosaur park builder, by the fact that the emphasis on making an actual, like, good exhibit. Partly that's a good-looking exhibit, and partly that's an exhibit that's actually good for your dinosaurs. Uh, so we are... I am about, I don't know, 13 parts in, maybe, at this point. Uh, and I, I've been taking it admittedly quite slowly. I've got two main enclosures only, and then two little aviaries here. There's some birdie boys. Hello. Shut up, Nigel. Uh, yeah, I'm having an absolute blast with the game, um, but it's not difficult to sell me on a game that has dinosaurs in it. Right, okay. Habitat. Uh, oh, can I actually just... Can I, if I click on this, can I see what the crowding is? So in a... Oh my god, that's more than I expected. In an 11... K, yeah. In an 11,000 meter square exhibit, five Nazutoceratops is 14% overcrowding. Which actually means if I want three herds of five, Then I want 50% more. I want this space again. Which is a lot. Now what I could do... Is I could... Instead of having a nice long path along here... Actually, let's give you guys some water. You need, you need quite a bit of water, actually, don't you? Um, uh, habitat. Oh, this is... I feel like that's changed. You need more water than that. Okay. We need more water than that, even. We need a lot more forest. Uh, I do also need to get rid of all these temperate plants. You reckon you still have temperate plants in here? Okay, I'll get the deforest to brush out. Oh, it was probably that one, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it was just that one thing in the corner. Um, oh, that's horrible. Um, yeah, you need more forest, you need wetland or tropical. This is not your permanent home, so we can just sort of spam. There you are, you're not happy for forest. I've lost you. Welfare, 50%. You don't have any enrichment. Battle enrichment, frozen fruit block. Well, I guess you're getting a frozen fruit block then, aren't you? Is that enough enrichment for all of you? One frozen fruit block? Okay, fine, whatever. Um. You'll need food. What do you eat? Sustenance. I don't know what you eat. I can't find out from the screen. Does this have ranger teams like Jurassic World? Um, it doesn't at the moment. Um, I know there's definitely 
there must be plans to have some sort of keeper activities because when you look at the uh When you look at the mini aviary, there's a, an option to send a keeper to refill. So I guess at some point there will be keepers doing something. Uh, my guess is they probably won't be driving around in jeeps with tranquilizer guns like Jurassic World Evolution. Um, lots of people want them to add like a, a modular thing that you can use to make something that moves, so like a monorail or a jeep or whatever, to make a safari tour or something similar. Uh, but I'm guessing that still won't be ranger jeeps. Uh, what do you eat? Open nursery menu. Huh. What does this bar mean? Don't know. This is set up. So what do you eat? You eat plants. That's okay. We're good with plants. Uh, food. Flat feeder. How many are you gonna need? I don't know. Let's give you three. It's like Zoo Planet meets Jurassic World? I think so. Um, my understanding from what I've... So I've not played Planet Zoo, although I do now own it. Uh, but my understanding is this seems pretty Planet Zoo-esque uh, from what I've seen. Uh, weirdly, actually, one of the major features, I think, for me, of this game is actually nothing to do with the building a zoo or the animals. It's the, the kind of the very detailed modular building system for making buildings. Um, like you, you make buildings up out of like loads of individual like blocks and parts and things. Um, so that's what I spent a weirdly a long amount of time doing to be honest while playing the game. Uh, I don't know if Planet Zoo has that same kind of in-depth building system. It might do. Uh, you've got food, you've got things. You'll need dung beetles. To clean up dinosaur poop. Two. Three. Four. So there's five. I'm sure that's plenty of dung beetles. Right, so now you guys are there. Um, so I was thinking, possibly what I could do, because I was planning to have an enclosure here anyway, what if I have this enclosure, and then like, the, there's a bit that guests walk over, if you get me. So there's like a bridge, um, and that increases guest visibility from the bridge, and it lets the dinosaurs roam under, and it also lets kind of the river that I want to have flowing through here, it lets the rivers flow through as well. Because obviously I don't want to have rivers flowing from one animal to a different animal. But if I were to, to do something like this, then I don't need that. Potentially. Uh, so if I just grab this... Bloody curvature of the thing is not great. Turn off angle snap, you silly thing. There we go. Line me around. So how big is this? That's an extra 3,000 meters squared. If I link it up, that might be enough for me, you know. Uh, okay, I apologize greatly to the guests who are down here. You're about to be deleted from existence. 
You'll have to suck it up. Right, so that's now a 14,000 meter squared enclosure. That's got to be about right for three herds, I reckon. Because if, if 11k is... Well, it, it, so about 10k seems to be 15% for you guys, and you can deal with up to 30%. So about 15k is probably right for you for three, lot, three times as many, if that makes sense. Or possibly I can't do maths, and this is all going to backfire horribly. One of the two. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, okay, so next one I want is a bridge. I hadn't thought this far ahead. I have to make a bridge now. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, instant regret. What's worse is I think I might have to make a slightly curvy bridge. Um, <laughs> It's fine, we've still got an hour and a bit of uptime. That's plenty of, of time for bridge. Uh, what's this slack canopy made of? Is this made of individual bits? It is, okay. Well, I could instead have a slack wooden wall. How, how tight are these slats? Could you walk on that? Comfortably? Excuse me, excuse me a sec. Do you mind... If I just uh... Use this over here so I can see how much gap we've got going on. Okay, so the. <sighs> hmm. That might be too much gap. If you want to get some like a wheelchair across that. Ah. Uh... Well, okay, hang on. Right. Can I flip you over, you silly thing? Please. Lie down! <laughs> I can't now make this rotate downwards. There we go. Okay. Can I shrink you? How much can I shrink you by? Or what's the smallest I can shrink you by but before these gaps become acceptable? Mm. Maybe they just won't. Maybe there's too much of a gap to wood ratio and the gap to wood ratio doesn't change. Okay. Thank you for your service, Brandon. Uh, this, oh my god, that person just vanished. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just go with, with regular wood. Where am I looking? I'm looking over here. I feel like it doesn't have to be a very high bridge. Although that being said, it has to be high enough that these guys can get under it.
and will get under it as well. Like it's not just that they can, it's that they will. So like that high? That's probably a good height. That's a decent height above human heads. That'll do. Okay. Having just done that, I now actually want... Oh my god, what did I do? I just spawned that in somehow, I don't know how, but I did. Right, what colour are you? A3471F. Oops. That's kind of quite a nice light wood colour. Make it a little more like that. There we go. So I'm going to lay this all out on the floor and I'm going to bring it up to this height later, is the plan. Oh my god, I made two million last month. Jesus Christ. Uh... Well, three wide? Three wide is very wide. I probably don't need it three wide. I could probably be able to bring two wide. Well, uh, how wide is the path? Oh, the path's about too wide. It could be too wide. Uh, actually, let's draw a path. Then we can we can sort of follow it, can't we? No, it's not actually gone to quite the right place. Right, so we get. Angle snap. You are. I swear to God, angle snap. Stay off. Either. I'm very bad at this. It's partly because the thing's not quite long enough, like the minimum path length is not quite long enough. To let me do what I want to do. So the maximum path length is not quite long enough. So I'm left sort of slightly struggling. <laughs> okay, there we are. That's a path we can get behind.
This is a very long path. I'm, I'm immediately regretting how long I've made this section. <laughs> uh. Doesn't have to be exact, it just has to look smooth. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Come on, Dizzy, you can do it. Oh, those wibbly textures are gonna make me real cross. Okay, so that's the foundations of our bridge. Um, phew. We've got we've got to deal with the wiggly textures. So if we take every other, oh my god, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. If we take every other set of things, and we use the move them. An imperceptibly small amount down trick. That stops the wibbling while maintaining uh, uh, an apparent visual sort of uh, niceness. Move you over here. Oh, for sake, okay. Uh, enclosure one. You're enclosure one. You feel free this. Oop. Let's drop down the save. Uh, Wolfraps, if you're still around and you fancy having a dinosaur named after you, uh, we have Drysaurus, we have Protoceratops. We have obviously the incoming Mazutoceratops as well. Uh, all you need to do is say the word and... Oh, I, I got really scared then for a second when I zoomed out and you couldn't see the, the wood. Oh boy! Oh, my little heart! Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to 
Uh oh. Right, about that. There we go. We don't need to do any more. Okay. Uh, we also don't need you anymore either. I actually hadn't quite realised what I was doing in, in that it actually let me build a path underneath the uh, railings. I was, I'm surprised by that. Have anyone visited the restaurant yet? No? No one, no one wants a burger up on the hill? Oh, okay. Plenty of people are using the, uh, the up and down, which is nice. Or at least they look like they're trying to. I realise it's unlit in here so far guys, so you are just sort of walking around in the dark. That's what it looks like without my lamp on. Uh, just hang tight. Just hang tight. Right, I guess let's make some stairs. need a lift for this as well. I hadn't thought about how to incorporate a lift into this design, but I won't mind. There's some stairs anyway. <laughs> oh, I think I just hit the mic. Apologies for everyone's eardrums. Right, we know you're at the right height, we just need to get you in the right place. Well done. Look. I might actually have just done that. I want to shift you over a little bit so that there's space for me to put a, a railing type bit underneath. Actually, we'll, we'll just put you in the middle for now, and then once we've added the underneath bit. Uh, yeah, once we've added the underneath bit, then I'll uh, move you back into place. For that, what we want is... Uh, it's in the shop, isn't it? Yes. I think you are the right angle. Oh, we can't get you lined up quite properly, but that's fine, probably. Okie doke. I'll nudge you into this. Uh, is this? Oh, the stairs are not doing the same thing. Seventy to F fourteen. Seventy to F fourteen. Marvelous.
Okay, I'm curious. What have I done wrong there? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong there. It's probably that though. Sneaking into my enclosure. Gonna upset my dinosaurs. Um, There we go. Right. <sighs> Stairs built. Flipping over to one side. Check. Same for you. Check. Uh, I need. the differences between wall and floor. Um, so I need to have one floor. Seventy two B one five. Okay, so there might be a little colour texture problem going on. It's Dave. Hi there, Dave. Dave says, beautiful work. Thank you. Um, it won't be beautiful work if I continue to not have angle stuff on. Uh, uh, I'll be torch on. I do have the torch on. <laughs> I just didn't want to cooperate. Uh. Up. Right. Oh hell. Okay, hang on. Fine. It's all perfectly normal. Same with you. Ah, I think one of the differences, of course, is that uh, floor uh, changes from the middle. Whereas wall changes from the bottom. Check. Okay. Um, I guess I probably want stone or concrete for the the pillars to keep the bridge up, don't I? Yes. So, there's sort of... Okay. Uh, con? Hmm. Weird. Pillar, concrete, square, four meters. That's exactly what I want. What I don't want is enclosure zero. Feeders to be running low. Let's top those up. Uh, I'm going to check my uptime. Two hours, ten minutes. Okay, we 
doing plenty good for time. Right. Back into this. Oh. oh, we've got pillar concrete slanted if we want it. Ooh, is it a, is it pyramidal slanted? Yes, it's pyramidal slanted. Ooh. Now there's an interesting thought. Uh, I've got another step on. Because I have something like that. Uh, how many would I need? Maybe three? Like that? Yeah, okay, I like that. Or, as an alternative... Right, hang on, okay, let's, let's get this lined up with the thing first. That's parallel. Bring you out. Could I then grab you? Here's my culling plaques. Ah, oh, it won't work because of how the pyramid works. Ignore my cunning plan. Right, let's do the same with you. Uh, how much? Let's say about halfway. You on the other side, and we want a duplicate. Oops, duplicate of you on the other side. Marvelous. Now what I'm thinking is... I maybe want a sort of a sheltered area that covers the stairway up and then has the lift sort of embedded in it. If I go into this, just quickly, can I steal? No, what's it called? Slat? A slat canopy? You know, maybe. <laughs> it's not the daftest suggestion in the world, is it?
Like, even if the only bit of this I steal is this front half. So I'll get rid of. Hang on. Don't need you, 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 you. Nor do I need you, 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 or you. I can take you. Wait, hang on. Do you stick out? You do stick out. Okay. I'll give you a little bit of stick out and then drink you in. How have we got here? 72 F14. So then our matching wood. Uh, we do need to move. Go. Okay. Let's drop down a save. What I will probably do is once I finish this bridge is when I'll uh, call it for today. I should imagine. Lift, where are you? There you are, lift. Like that, I need you. Oh, that's not the good lift, is it? Let's take the lift from inside the clock tower. I know it's freakishly tall, but uh, it will probably be better for us in the long run. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, it's the lamps, okay. I was like, what the hell needs power here? It's fine, it's just the lamps. Um, okay. I like grip. Right, so now we basically... Uh, we want to bring... These three. Oh, hell. Down to that height. Check. Okay. 
There was a good reason why this one was upside down, but I can't remember what it was. Check. Okay. Hi Gee, welcome back. Um We are engaging in Dizzy's apparent favourite hobby, which is installing lifts into things. Uh Moving more cattle. We all have our favourite hobbies. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, that's not where I expected that to be, but it does seem to have still worked how it was supposed to work, so that's okay. Uh, Oh, finally. Oh, I got turned around. Is there... I don't know, enclosure 3 is dirty. Hang on. I assume that's the Zootseratops. Yes, it's you guys. Okay. So let's clean you. And we know we're going to need an additional... few... dung beetles. Let's have two extra dung beetles for now. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Right. So, um, I want to have a solar panel on the roof. Pop infrastructure power. So if I have a solar panel sort of above the lift shaft, let's put it centrally there. That is not central at all. Let's put it centrally. Doesn't put it centrally. And then we move it over here-ish. The lift and the thing are not aligned. This is not good news. We're moving 765,000 cattle today. I mean, I sort of at this point, you, you could tell me any number you want and I'd just be like, yeah, sure, why not? It can't get more ridiculous. There's something wrong here. Okay, no, maybe there's not anything wrong here. Ignore me. Right, so solar panel on roof. Um,
I've got to think about what I'm actually trying to achieve here. Um, What am I trying to achieve here? <laughs> this is the problem with thinking about it, is you think about it and you still don't know. Okay, so I can put some wood on the roof like that, if I want to. Right, that's all well and good. I could even duplicate it and have two bits of wood on the roof. Like that. I could move them over so that they're nice and central. Sure. Then what? <laughs> um, okay, then I could... have another bit of roof. Okay, so we've got plenty of roof going on. Still with no actual reason or purpose in sight, but we've got plenty of roof going on. <laughs> um... And then we make it all the same colour. Not that colour. Seventy two F one four. Not that colour either, because that actually looks horrible. Maybe I'll grab the colour off of this. Not F, not 7, not 3. Uh, I can't, I've lost my cursor, there we go. Oh, I can just see what this looks like a little bit darker. Sure, something like that. Uh, okay, let's grab 
Ooh, slot walls is risky. Slot walls is risky. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's mm, set you back and so slightly stop jiggling. Because boy, do I hate the jiggling. Excellent line to take out of context. Um, let's sweep you up. He has responded with four winning. Am I winning? I don't know. I don't know if I'm winning. I might be winning. Which is better than definitely not winning. 2D 110B. I should have redone this first. Two D one one O B. Pretty dark. That's okay. Probably. <laughs> okay. Now is the here's the bit that makes it a risk. Is we've got to that we'll uh, we'll do it slightly more sensibly <laughs> only slightly more sensibly but, uh, but slightly more sensibly
2 hours 36. I am running out of time to finish this. And we've hit a snag. Snag being we now have one bit that pokes out through the bottom. this one. No, you're you're not winning? Oh no. How how do we make you winning? Oh gold. Or no, I'm not winning. Uh, if I'm not winning, there's nothing that can be done about it. But if you're not winning, that's a problem. Um, Oh, no, don't end. You got me for a while yet. You got me for a while yet. Um... to win-ish on this. I don't... <laughs> okay, well, adios then. Uh, it was good to have you around you. Um... a little more easily done. Oh my lovey! I 
happy to call that a success. There we go. Wow. No, that's actually also going so long. Okay, I think that kind of works. It, it, it contains the lift. Um, oh, I might need to do something about this. <laughs> the lift is currently just sort of going through. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You just put a beam across the middle. Check. Oh, hell. Just put two beams across the middle. We pray that they are edited from the left, not the right. Ah, we won. That'll do. Okay. I think that's gone marvellously. I'm quite happy with that. So we've got this bit and the lift. Oh no! Oh no. I have to mirror it. gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We've got a quarter of an hour left to mirror this. It shouldn't take that long, surely. Place you down. Okay, this bit's the easy bit. Oh, hang on. No, wait. I need to bring you up so you're actually touching me. Yes. Check. Okay. This bit's, as I said, the easy bit. Just put it there. Uh. Okay, then we have these internal beams that I now need to move across. Oh, oh, where am I looking? Where am I? <laughs> this is what I actually wanted to do. Nice and even. That looks lovely. Fantastic. Right, now we want to slide this all the way over here. Let's start from the top. You, 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 and you, and you. That's probably the right number. Mm. 
and you. Well, I hope I got that right. Check. Okay, looking good. Bother. There's one bit. Uh, it's now probably hidden in here somewhere. That's fine. I'm going to claim that as a win for Team Dizzy. I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Uh, 12 minutes left. Can I rail the side of this in 12 minutes? Probably not. Um, I do also want to get a bit of flooring down here, which I want to grab you because I know you're in the right orientation. Try this again. Nope. That one. Angle snap. Five degrees. One tilt. There we go. Check. And this needs to be I can't remember what texture the bloody stone pathways are. What texture is this? It's in the block, is it? Okay. You also need to be shrunk a little bit. Another one, another one. I probably do what. No, that's fine. Actually, we'll just have it onto the left. Bring this one in. Oh, whoops.
marvelous. Not marvelous. It's too thin. It needs to come out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Oh god, I didn't do that on the other side. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. It's probably okay. Which bit's this tilty bit? Oh no, it rotates in a stupid way. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hang on. Duplicate results editing. Yep. Oh, well, I don't quite understand what's going on here. Well, I think that's okay. Probably. Oh, I also... Right, no tune there. Okay. We are good. I definitely can't finish railing this in five minutes, so we will come back to do the bridge and then the enclosure proper. Uh, next time, which will probably, but not definitely, be on Monday. Uh, tomorrow I'm coming back this stray for what might well be the final part. I've had this pause for goodness knows how long. Um, a lot longer than I intended. But, I mean, we can now do this. There we are. People can all get here. Um, yeah, so that's been Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, where are we? There we go. Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you for the new followers I've had in the last few days. Thank you uh, also especially to Yi, to Dave, to Wolfraps who spoke up in the chat. Every additional voice on there as well as every 
follow and, and what have you. They all mean the world to me because they all drive the, the, the algorithm that rules all of our lives as content creators and consumers and says who gets to benefit from the magic internet wonder stick today. Um, thank you again everyone for watching. Uh, if you're with me on YouTube, please do consider dropping a like or even subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, my YouTube channel is Dis for Demise and it has uh, the archive of all the VODs for Prehistoric Kingdom so you can see how we got up to this point as well as for the other games that I've played like Stray, like Jurassic World Evolution if that's more your flavour of Park Builder. Um, Miner has been dizzy. This is me signing out really, really badly today. I don't know why it's such a terrible sign-off today, but that's that's what you get sometimes, I guess. I will see you all next time. Ta-ra!